Hello friends, welcome back to Tech with Viresh. So in the continuation to our series on Apache Spark Deep Dive, today we'll take a quick and a very uh, important topic because whenever you try to do some kind of performance uh, troubleshooting or trying to write some uh, core Spark APIs, you may need to find out what is the size of the RDD or the data frame that you're working with. Uh, to take further decisions of uh, which kind of APIs should you call upon uh, to do the <clears throat> to keep the right set of optimizations. So we'll uh, uh, look the different methods available programmatically to find out the size, the byte size of the RDDs and data frames you're working with. So guys, let's start. So let's take this example where we are uh, we are creating some data frames. And then we try to call the cache. We try to save this data frame. One simple way is obviously is we can go to the Spark UI, which we discussed in the in one of my earlier videos, and check out what is the size. But sometimes you may need to take out the decisions uh, without actually executing that program, right? You want to uh, chart out what are the next set of APIs I should call based on the size of the data I'm, um, I'm playing around. I'm playing with uh, uh, with the current set of data frames and RDDs that I need to call these APIs on, right? So there are APIs or there are uh, programmatically we can find out what is the size, what is the byte size of the RDDs and data frames. Uh, so if I execute that program, I'll see from the Spark UI that uh, this is the size in memory. It's around 3.3 KB and uh, we'll try to calculate the same programmatically and let's see if it matches. So one way to find out that number is you call this API to debug string. Then you call that, it'll give you a lot of information about like what are the different map partitions for that RDD, uh, you know, uh, what is the kind of logical plan, stuff like that. But the, at the same time, it'll also give you the memory footprints. It'll give you the memory footprints and it very clearly shows you here that it is 3.3 KB and it is on memory. There's nothing on the disk uh, and there's nothing on the external blocks, right? And that's what should happen when we call cache, right? Everything should be in the memory or it should not be on the memory uh, or it should not be on the disk, right? Uh, there are two more ways to find out the same uh, size programmatically. One is using this size estimator. This is an API uh, given by the Spark in the util package, wherein you can simply pass your data frame to the uh, size estimator dot estimate. Here I've written it through the map, but we can also simply use this uh, method of this uh, object size estimator dot estimate and just pass my data frame into it. Uh, one more uh, and, and a more precise and the right way to calculate the size of the current RTDs and data frame is through the uh, uh, through the logical plan uh, uh, statistics. So what we have done here, we have we have taken this data frame that we have created, for which we want to find the size, and we have find out this logical plan, and then we have uh, passed that logical plan uh, to the Spark session stage for execution, and then we'll try to call out. Uh, the method to find out the stats and then it, it gives me the size in the bytes right so what we have done essentially is we've uh, for that particular data frame we find out the logical plan and then based on that logical plan we have called the stats api which will give us the size in bytes so these are uh, three ways to find out the uh, size of the rdd or data frame one obviously is uh, through the statistics of the logical plan. One is the size estimator. Another one is using the two debug string. Similarly, uh, one another example if we take, this time we have called the persist APIs and this time we know it should go all on disk. And if I try to call, and if I try to see it on the Spark AI, you know, it's just totally on the disk, uh, 5K. And now if I try to call out the two debug string on this one, it again gives me the memory footprints very precisely that it's uh, all on disk 5 KB, nothing on the memory, nothing on the external blocks. So guys, that's it in this particular video. Here we look, looked into, uh, there are three ways to find out the size of the RDD or data frame. 
to debug string size estimator and the stats api on the optimized logical plan so guys that's it in this particular video have a great day ahead bye bye